First, select the patient whose ECG recording you wish to analyze. Analyze will begin a new analysis session, overriding any previous analysis, and Show Analysis will let you continue a saved, finished, or work-in-progress analysis. Let's click Analyze. The Analysis tab opens, showing the Event Overview screen with all detected events in their respective categories. These events are categorized based on the settings in the Analysis Preferences. Click the Preferences tab and then click the Diagnostic tab to change the parameters if needed. Here you can also set the default channel to be used for analysis. Go back to the Analysis tab now. Left-click inside the horizontal scroll bar to manually move through the recording. The red highlighted calibration marker here indicates the channel that is currently being used for live analysis. If the channel seems too weak or not suitable for your analysis, click on the triangle icon left of the Save icon in the top menu bar and select another channel to be used for analysis. Now click on an event category. You can see that the vertical red bar jumped to the first event in that category. The three small red markers inside the event window indicate the system max pause, bradycardia, and tachycardia. Right-click, hold and drag to zoom in closer to the events. Notice that this creates a secondary horizontal time bar and a more detailed overview of the events captured. Clicking on the 24 button at the top will return to the default view. Right-clicking and dragging here will allow you to move quickly through the recording. Click on the Add Marker icon at the top to add a timestamp marker. Clicking on the User Selected category will show you where you place the markers. Let's add a couple more markers now. The heart rate, beat classification, and microseconds between each individual beat are displayed at the bottom. The R box, when unchecked, allows a user to make measurements over one or multiple beats. The R box, when checked, allows a user to create a measurement frame that can be used to compare distance between other beats. At the vertical menu bar to the left, you can click the up-down arrows to increase or decrease signal amplitude. The left and right arrows will move the recording one second to the left or one second to the right. The double arrows will play the recording, and 12, 25, and 50 will change the paper speed. In the Signal window, each beat is shown via the color of its category. Right-clicking on a beat will open a menu to reassign the beat or all beats of that same category to another class. Beat categories include D for dominant, marked blue, V for ventricular, marked dark red, S for supraventricular, marked light red, A for artifact, marked pink, and U for unknown, marked orange. Before reassigning all beats, it is recommended to make sure that the software correctly identified the beats.
click on the Beat Classification icon in the top menu. Select the Beat Class box you wish to evaluate. The menu bar to the left contains left and right arrows that allow the user to jump from one beat to the next. The up and down arrows increase and decrease the amplitude. The double right arrows play the ECG in both the beat window and signal window below. Uncheck the ECG icon to only play the recording inside the small beat window. Right-clicking into a box opens a sub-window that displays a 3D graphic of all the beats of that class. Here you can adjust the number of beats you want shown in the 3D graphic. Right-click and drag inside the 3D graphic to zoom in and out. Use the mouse or scroll bar to change the view of the 3D graphic. If needed, click on Next Page to jump to the next selection until all beats have been inspected. Click Close to return to the previous window. Left-clicking and dragging a beat from one box into another box will prompt an all or one beat question before merging the beats. Note that moving box content will reclassify the beats. Beats dragged into the artifact box will be removed when you perform a reanalysis of the ECG. In the Signal window, right-clicking in between beats will open a menu selection. Click on Enter Comment to add a comment. Right-click again between the beats to open the menu. Select Insert Beat to insert a beat. Left-click to mark the beginning of the QRS. Mark the end of the QRS by left-clicking again. Delete or remove a beat by assigning the beat as an artifact. In the menu up top, select the Text Editor icon to open the beat statistics generated by the software. Clicking anywhere into the text will allow you to edit the text. The two icons at the top here will toggle between the text editor and the signal screen. Click on the ST Trend icon in the top menu bar to switch to the ST Trend Overview screen. The vertical menu here on the left allows the user to adjust parameters and display settings. Click on the full disclosure icon to show the entire recording at a glance. The up and down arrows adjust the amplitude. The left and right arrows increase and decrease the paper speed. And the up and down arrows scroll through the pages of the recording. These two icons are used to toggle between a full screen and a split screen window. The red marker inside the horizontal time bar marks the current position of the signal beat below. The yellow highlighted area inside the time bar corresponds to a section of ECG strip in the upper half of the screen. 
Clicking anywhere into the full disclosure window will move the signal to the corresponding position below. The parts of the recording the software considers poor in quality will automatically be highlighted green. Let's scroll to find them now. Please note, the sections of the recording marked green will not be analyzed, nor will they be included in the statistics. You can mark additional sections green by right-clicking to begin highlighting, and then right-clicking again to stop highlighting. Be careful when you highlight as this cannot be undone. Any previous work should be saved before highlighting anything green. Now let's perform a reanalysis with our new changes implemented, and then save the results. Before we create a report, click on the HRV icon to switch to the heart rate variability window. Here you can choose to display the normal beats or all of the beats. You can also choose to display the time and frequency domain as well as the hourly RR histogram. Go back to the previous window now. Click the Statistics icon to see a graphical display of the major heart events. To create a report, click on the Report Generator button. Here you can choose which event samples you want included in the report. You can choose to preview the report, print the report, or export the report. Let's preview the report now. You can also delete objects you don't want by right-clicking on the object and selecting Delete Object. When you're satisfied with the report, either print it as a PDF or export it to a Word document. Go back to the Database tab now and change the recording status to Analyzed. When you're done, click Save. 